run record labels since I was 17. And I put my first records out probably um, 70, 1976, 1977. And my main love has been Jamaican music. But I've, I've also done everything from industrial to dance records, to hip hop to, to um, I suppose you'd call it pop stuff with different bands who've employed me. And um, I've always run my own labels and al always attempted as well to go out doing live concerts and in recent years doing like a live dub show and stuff. So we thought tomorrow it'd be really good if we, uh, wh whoever wants to come tomorrow, come to a studio, we'll go through putting tunes together and go through the whole production process where f for me the key is really is making anything I produce uncluttered. So space is king because if, if you listen to all the records that people like currently, they, they, they do, I think the really good ones, sound uncluttered and I think um, perhaps we could uh, show you a few ideas and approaches that we use like on virtually everything we do. My first record was an album called Starship Africa which I did in 1977 and with that um, I mixed the whole album backwards so you know if you put like a two inch tape on a, on a machine you would have to, on going forward the bass drum would be on channel one playing it backwards it would be on channel 24 so we kind of vaguely balanced the record up and started putting the delays, reverbs and phases on so instead of it going like this, it would be going shook, shook, and all the delays would go whoa, 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 like this. But so you guessed it, did two mixes, turned the quarter inch tape back over, then it would be playing forward. So the whole sound would be sucking in on itself. And I, I made the album in about um, two days for about £200. And, I, and to this day, people still say it's the best record I've ever made. <laughs> What I try to do is, if I'm, if I'm doing the mix, obviously you make sure what you put down to tape, you know is really good. You don't want to have to say, we'll sort it out in the mix. You try and make it sort out in the recording. Mm -hmm. And then what I do is spice up the mix. But if, you go, if you get into a stage where what you put down, you say, well, I'll sort it out in the mix, I'll sort it out in the mix, you're stupid. You should try and... That's why today I was showing everybody what we did. We started, because you, you came on the second session, we started off with nothing. We started with like the one drop, the height. Really empty. And then we bit by bit filled the thing up so that space was everywhere. If you've got a cluttered production, you can't write to it if you're doing a song. It's, it, it's, um, that, that, that's the principle I was going under. And, and also, if you, if you, you know, like oh, we've got a sequence did it, did it, going all the way through and bring it in and out. That's okay for maybe a sequence or a couple of things. So you know every time you want to, you can go, you know, then bring it out or, or dub it in and out. That's great. But when you've got other things that's cluttering every inch of space in the production, you're fucked. Because you can sort it out to a degree in the mix. It's kind of okay. But it's all bluff. You'd write or you rely upon using SSL computers and cuts and they're boring. Normally I'd have it so it's really controlled and then attack you know, a few bars and bring it back. So you've got a healthy tension in the mix. You don't want just to have effects for the sake of the effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and if you've got four, you know, lots of hands on it, you're all tempted to be playing around. So the best thing is probably you just sit back and don't do anything for a few bars and then write, I'll have it raw, then I'll bring in the rhythm section then I'll take out the drums, spice up, delay up the rhythms, you know, and things like that. Do you guys use an analog or a digital board at home? Um, the board's analog, but we're using digital. We're using um, Radar, which okay. is a digital hard disk recorder. Oh, but I mean the faders, they're not motorized faders, right? No, now. never, no. Okay. Because I, I like using my fingers. I've been doing it so long, I don't even want, no, I prefer it that way. But a lot of people, it, it But then if you have to go back and change anything, you, you can never... You can't really. It's so perfect, I wouldn't want to change it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>